Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, I want to start posting more book content here on my YouTube channel. I got into reading last August and it's been my absolute favorite thing. I love buying books, I love reading books, I love watching book content here on YouTube and on TikTok. And I want to start posting more book content myself and I was thinking, since I haven't posted any book content this year, what's the best way to like get into the swing of things? And I was like, why don't we do a bookshelf tour? Don't get me wrong, I've talked about books on my channel plenty of times, but I haven't filmed like a proper video just related to books since the summer I turned pretty video and since I last talked to you there's been a lot of updates I got a brand new shelf I've bought a ton of new books I've been given books as presents and there's just a lot to show you so I'm gonna give you guys a tour today show you guys everything I take a lot of pride in the way that I organize my books I spend hours doing it and I'm constantly rearranging it but I feel like I'm in a place where I like how it's set up and since I have some fresh beautiful flowers for my graduation I thought this would be the perfect time to film it so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour today let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books I'm sure you have and also let me know if you want me to talk about any of the books that I showed today so with that being said let's get into the bookshelf tour okay so the bookshelf right here are all my romance books there's two rows here and then two rows below it I primarily read romance books so that's the biggest section in my collection and there are a ton of books that I haven't read yet because I'm either saving them for a reading vlog or I just haven't gotten around to it yet I love buying books it's actually a problem so there's a lot that I haven't read yet for my graduation I also got a bunch of books and I bought myself some I think I got literally 15 books yesterday so there's a lot that we haven't read yet just keep that in mind I'll give some reviews on some of them and tell you if I've read them or not okay I've vlogged this section of my room a thousand times but on top of my bookshelf I just have some candles I have one that says my birthday Volspa some replica ones I have this one of Harry that I got for Christmas which I love I have some sunny angels some crystals I also have this amazing Damon and Elena candle that I got for my birthday. And then when you go downward, here are the first two shelves. Like I said, these are my romance books and I have them kind of separated by author. So here are my two Sally Rooney books. I've read Normal People, I gave it five stars and then I haven't finished A Conversation with Friends but I wasn't loving it so I decided to DNF it but I think I'm gonna come back to it at a later date. And then I have my two Christina Lauren books. I have The Unhoneymooners, I read that one, I gave it 4.5 stars I believe and then I have Love Another World. Words. This book is insanely popular. I haven't read it yet because I want to do it for a reading vlog, but I'm so excited to read this one. Next, I have my Lynn Painter books. I have Better Than the Movies. I loved this book. I gave it five stars. I even might give it a six star. It was so amazing. I loved it. It's young adult. And then this is a new book that I just got yesterday. This is The Love Wager, again by Lynn Painter. Haven't read that one yet. And then I have my three books by Sarah Adams. I recently just read When in Rome. I was obsessed. I read it in like two days and I gave it five stars. And then this is Practice Makes Perfect. This is the second book in this series. It's not really a series, it's more like a duology, but they're set in the same town with the same characters. Also, look at how beautiful this cover is. And then I have The Cheat Sheet by her again, and this is a very popular book. I just haven't read it yet. And then to the right of that, I have the Fifty Shades of Grey series. Lauren actually gave this to me as a graduation present, and I'm so excited to read these because we just recently watched the movies and we were obsessed. So, so I'm very excited to read those and then moving to the right I have more books obviously. Here I have my Emily Henry book so I have Beach Read, Book Lovers, People We Met on Vacation, and Happy Place. This is her new release. I've heard amazing things. This is probably going to be one of the next books that I read. It's definitely on my June TBR. I think the cover of it is just so pretty. I wish that it was a paperback so that they could all match but I'm not mad about it. To the right of those I have my Taylor Jenkins read books and I love her absolutely so much. All the books that I've read by her, I've given five stars, if I may say even six stars. So I have Carrie Soto is back. I haven't read this one by her yet. I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I absolutely love this book. It's one of my favorites. And then to the right of that, I have Daisy Jones and the Six. These are both five-star books for me. I absolutely loved the show, and I just love these books so much. Then we have Malibu Rising, which I haven't read yet, and then One True Loves, again by the same author. I read this one and gave it five stars. Then to the right of those, 
videos, I have the Summer I Turn Pretty series. I absolutely love these books. Very high ratings for me. I've read them all. I made an entire video about this one and it's up on my channel if you guys want to watch that. Comparing it to the TV show, I'm so excited for season two. Let me know in the comments down below if you are Team Jeremiah or Team Conrad. I'm definitely Team Conrad. And then to the right of those, I have Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. I absolutely love this cover. It's absolutely so beautiful. Although I haven't heard the best things about this book, which kind of makes me nervous to read it. But I'm definitely still going to read it and I'll let you guys know what I think. And then moving down below, we have more romance books. So right here we have One Italian Summer and this is a great, great summery book. I started reading this one last summer and I really loved it. I didn't finish it, so maybe I'll finish it this summer. And then to the right, we have The Star Cross Sisters of Tuscany. Again, I love this cover. Let me show it to you guys. It's literally so pretty. It takes place in Italy and when reading this, you just want to eat pasta and drink wine. It's a really cute atmosphere. And then we have As Seen on TV. I'm so bummed about this book because I did not enjoy it. I literally gave it one star. I did not like it literally whatsoever. I thought the main character complained too much. I do not recommend it, but it's still in my collection. And then to the right, I have my Katie Contugo book. So I have 99 Days, 9 Days and 9 Nights, and You Say It First. This author is what got me back into reading. I absolutely love her. If you guys love like a love triangle situation, this book is so good and it's also great for summer. If you guys like the Summer I Turn Pretty series, I definitely recommend this book and then this is the follow-up book to that one. And then to the right of that, I have my Colleen Hoover book. So I have It Ends With Us, It Starts With Us, Ugly Love, Heart Bones, and Verity. I gave It Ends With Us and Verity pretty high stars. I personally did not like Ugly Love and and I think It Starts With Us felt a little bit flat for me. I haven't read Heartbones yet. I've heard it's a great summer book, so maybe I'll read it when I'm by the pool or at the beach. But you guys know about Colleen Hoover. She is widely loved or widely hated. Let me know your opinions on Coho in the comments down below. I feel kind of indifferent. And then I just have a little candle from the one hotel. And then moving to the right, again, we have more romance books. Here we have Where the Crawdads Sing. Lauren watched this movie and said I would absolutely love it, so she convinced me to get the book. I have to read this still. I have Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I'm a little intimidated by how thick it is, but this is like a very loved book by many, and I need to get around to it because the second book in the series just came out. Then I have The Notebook. I absolutely love this movie, and this book is special because I got it when I was visiting Connecticut. We have The City Baker's Guide to Country Living, which is like the perfect fall book, so I'm waiting to read that this autumn. We have The Upside of Falling, which was actually a Wattpad book first, so I'm interested to read that. And then we also have Always in December, which is like a Christmassy book, so obviously I'm going to read that in December. Then we have Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I read this one and really liked it. It's a hockey romance. It's very steamy and spicy, but I absolutely love Nathan in this book. He is a great book boyfriend. And then we have My Policeman by Bethan Roberts. I've talked about this book a lot on my channel, especially because Harry was in in the film adaptation. And then we have The Hotel Nantucket by Ellen Hildebrand. Again, a very popular book that I haven't read yet. These four I just got yesterday, so I haven't read any of these. Then we have The Deal by L. Kennedy. This is a part of a huge series. It's a hockey romance. I really liked reading a hockey romance and icebreaker, so I decided to give this one a try. And a lot of people like this series. Again, another series that's loved by many, Addicted to You. I only have the first book because I want to see if I like them, and then if I like them, I'll continue the series. Very exciting to read both of these and then we have yours truly by abby jimenez which i've heard the main guy in this is a great book boyfriend so i'm very excited to read these so those are my romance shelves but moving over here i have the magnolia parks and daisy hate series i haven't read these yet but they didn't fit here i've heard if you love gossip girl you're gonna like these books so i'm very excited to read these i also have the chestnut spring series coming there's four books in that series so i have no idea where I'm gonna put them next. I honestly might put them on top of this series because I'm running out of room for romance. But I think they look so pretty here with all of the flowers. And of course we have a little sunny angel baby of a sunflower. And then moving right along, we have my fantasy books. So I have the first Harry Potter book. This is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I read the entire series when I was younger and I've watched all the books back to back and I love them so much. If you guys don't know, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. But I thought it would be good to just get the first 
first book and then continue to get them as I read the series. I'm gonna read these for sure this fall. And then I have the first book in the Shatter Me series. Again, this is a book loved by many or a series. I haven't read it yet and Aaron Warner is talked about all over book talk so I'm very excited to see what the hype is all about. Here I have the Song of Achilles and then below I have the Mortal Instrument series. I got this as a Christmas gift from Lauren and I haven't read any of them yet. I loved the movie when I was growing up so I'm very excited to read these and fully get into the world of Cassandra Clare. I've heard she's an amazing author and I just love the idea of the series. And then to the right I have the entire Vampire Diaries series. I got this as a gift from Gianni for Christmas and if you don't know The Vampire Diaries is one of my favorite shows of all time. I absolutely love it. I've visited Mystic Falls and I just love The Vampire Diaries so much. I'm Team Damon if you didn't know. I'm curious if that's going to be the same in the book. Like if I'm going to be Team Damon rather than Team Stefan because I know the books vary from the TV series but I'm definitely going to read these this fall as well as Harry Potter. I feel like fall time just screams fantasy. And then below that we have my last two shelves. So this half are like memoirs and then this half is more like classics. So I have I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I listened to the audiobook version of this and I highly recommend it. I gave it five stars. She narrates it herself and so does Matthew Perry for his book. This is Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. If you're a Friends fan, I highly recommend this one. And then to the right, I have one about Audrey Hepburn and then one about Coco Chanel. And then my last memoir is by Dolly Allerton. It's called Everything I Know About Love. I started reading this one and I haven't finished it yet but I really really liked it. I have to get back to this one and then I have this book called How to Stop Feeling Like Shit. It's a self-help book and I wanted to have one in my collection in case I was kind of feeling in a slump mentally. And then I have a poetry book. This is Milk and Honey. I think everyone and their mother owns this but I found it at Urban and I wanted to buy a book so I got it. And then moving to the right here are my classics. So I have The Picture of Dorian Gray, Wuthering Heights, Pride and Prejudice which I love Pride and Prejudice so much. I read it in high school and then I watched the movie so I'm excited to reread it again now that I'm like an adult and I'm really into reading and then moving to the right I have The Great Gatsby and then The Crucible. This book is really special to me because I actually visited Salem, Massachusetts and I got this book while I was visiting and there was a whole Crucible museum so I'm excited to read this in the fall time and then moving to the right I have my mysteries and thrillers. I am a big thriller reader. I didn't think I would be because I honestly was scared of scary movies for the long this time but this is one of my favorite sections of my bookshelf. So I have The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I love this book so much. I have Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls and The Cellar. I have The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. This one is And Then There Were None. I've heard really good things about this one especially if you're trying to get into her writing. Then I have a beloved series. I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This is the first, second, and third one. I absolutely love this series. It's young adult. I was kind of disappointed with the last book but but I just love the series overall. Then I have the Mindfuck series and as you can see this is a very thick book. It's actually five books into one. I was reading this in May and it was really really dark and honestly I just wanted to get back into like romance and happy light things. So I've only read two out of the five so far but I think I'm gonna pick this up when I'm again in a thriller mood. Then I have the Inheritance Games. I only have the first book but I'm so excited. A lot of people love this series. I honestly know nothing about it despite how widely it's talked about. And then last but not least, I have Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. Again, I've heard great, great things about this book. And then down below, this is a little messy, but I wanted to show you guys. I have a bunch of bookmarks that I've gotten from Barnes & Noble. I have a bunch of tabs in case I want to start annotating my books with tabs. I always annotate all of my books. I have some more bookmarks. I want to start getting into tabbing. Right now I only like underline and highlight, but I want to start doing that. I think I'm going to start doing that with the Magnolia Park series when I read it. I have these really cute bookmarks. They're called recipe tabs and they have cute little names on them like cookie and bars chocolate and candy, etc. I have some highlighters here that I got off Amazon for when I want to annotate and tab my books like that. And then last but not least, I have my book journal. I absolutely love my book journal. I spend a lot of time updating it and I write little cute reviews and my star ratings on all the books I've read. Let me know if you guys want like a proper in-depth book tour. I'm not going to show all of my ratings and give you a full tour. I'll give like a whole dedicated video to that. So let me know if you guys want to see that. And yeah, those 
those are my bookshelves let me know if you guys like this video let me know if there's any books that you think I need to read which I haven't already and let me know if there's any books that you want to see me talk about here on my channel I absolutely love this section of my room especially with all the posters it's just like my happy place and I'm excited that I got the show to you guys so let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already join the B family I would absolutely love to have you a part of it and I will see you guys in my next vlog love you